And so it's Charlotte with it. Ten point lead. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. That'll be the first of three games played at home. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Allie. Thank you. For Charlotte, they've gone four for six here in the second. Pass to Goose. Now Ball, pounded by Moran. And Ball gets it to go. Ball's got 11 points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. The Grizzlies have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. To the middle. Here's Goose. And he dunks it down. LaMelo Ball loves creating for his team. I love the look right there. Just so easy to play with. Outside Bain. 16 feet out. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Brooks outside. Pass to Adams. And he gets the bucket. Five points in the game. Well, Steven Adams was a bit raw when he entered the league, but you can see right there how sound he has become as a finisher on the interior. Goose can't hit. That's a complete effort. Stuck with his man, gets his hand up, and then he doesn't hesitate to finish the possession with the rebounding job. Morant. It's rebounded by Charlotte. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And Washington powers it through. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Bain against Washington. And the dunk by Jackson. BA, the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Pass to Goose. Martin outside. And here's Ball, pounded by Moran. Pulls it from the top of the key. They get it again. Washington. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, Norris Commissioner Silver has acknowledged that the style of play in today's game may have an added impact on players' bodies. How so, you think? I think, Brian, it's not only style of play. It's the nature of an NBA schedule. You are talking 82 games. The Charlotte Hornets closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Here's Moran. Brooks and Jackson, the defensive forward pair. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. And it's Adams in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. Morant, the pass to Bain. And here's Adams. 
And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, there's just a brute strength and physicality about Steven Adams. This guy knows his role and plays it to perfection. The Hornets shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Pass to Hayward. Back to ball. Here's Goose. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Adams has got four rebounds now. And that one's good. Moran. One of the faster players in the league, end-to-end. -end. I mean, few people can run with Moran. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Down low. Oh, stolen by Moran. That's tipped. He swipes the ball away again. <laughs> He's able to anticipate their every move. An absolute pest on the defensive end. Well, the great length and the great size of the backcourt. LaMelo Ball continues to improve as an interior scorer. And here are the Grizzlies. It's a 13-point game. Morant, the pass to Bain. Now here's Adams. And he gets it to go. Adams has got nine. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. It would seem to me with P.J. Washington, basketball was ingrained in his DNA. Why? Each of his parents' guys played Division I basketball. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Hayward against Brooks. Pass to Adams. Here's Morant. And he banks in the layup. He's got six. All right, Doris, how has it helped P.J. Washington growing up in a basketball family? Well, I think if you have two college players, two high-level college players, it automatically means you've got two high-level coaches who can help develop your skills at a young age. But the other part of this, the mental aspect, such a huge advantage to have people who've been there and done that. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. Nails the baby hook. Jackson's got his third basket of the night. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Here's Goose. Guarded by Bain. Here's Goose. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. Hayward's got his seventh assist here tonight. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Here's Ball. And Ball throws it down. What an electrifying game by LaMelo Ball. Is anyone more exciting than this young guy? Morant, the pass to Brooks. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Jackson. To the middle. Here's Adams. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, in December of the 21-22 season, the NBA set a record for most players used in a season. Doris, what would you learn from seeing so many new guys? I think the exciting part of that, Ryan, is the fact that the G League is now an integral part of each organization. You have the opportunity to bring guys up and down between that lower level and the NBA. It affords guys who maybe are getting spotty time in the NBA level to continue to enhance their skill. Here's Bain. Uses the glass on the layup. Bain's got 12 points in the game. It's very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication problems. To the inside. Goose. Good. And the Hornets lead by 13. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. 
to the paint. Here's Goose. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Morant, the pass to Brooks. Back to Morant. And he's going for the oop here. And it's...